One of the coolest things about music is that it's this universal language that can bring people together from all over the damn place to kind of just like embrace and respect and find a mutual admiration for like art and sound and blah, 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 blah. So today we're going to talk about a band that I think has brought in a lot of people together in a very unique way over the course of my life and probably yours as well. So... Grab your favorite pair of headphones and let's listen to this. For today's headphone hideaway, we're going to talk about the 2001 release from System of a Down, Toxicity. The new metal boom of the late 90s, early 2000s is one that we're all familiar with, with bands such as, you know, you got your Corns and your Limp Biscuits and then your Linkin Parks and your Deftones. And in the mixture of all of that, you had System of a Down, who was also a very, very popular band at the time. And looking back on it in retrospect, I can't help but be surprised that they got as big as they were. But simultaneously, I'm not surprised at all because they had such a universally palatable approach to writing ununiversally palatable music. Does that make sense? On paper, I don't think there's any reason that everything that System of Down was doing should have worked. But the reason why it did work was because there was just this undeniable charisma and charm and uniqueness to this band that just made it like intriguing. They're a band that left an impact on a lot of people and introduced a lot of people to a lot of different styles of music. You know, in the late 90s, when this band came on the scene with their self-titled record, nobody had ever heard anything like it at the time. It just did not exist. For me, being a kid that was into, you know, the new metal stuff and just like wacky fun stuff, it was like, you know, it was almost like comedy new metal, right? Like that's how I felt listening to the first album. I was too young to understand a lot of the subject matter and understand the irony that this band plays with. Um, but as I got a little bit older, I mean, by the time Toxicity came out, I got it. I'm a little bit more politically aware as a teenager, uh, I have a little bit more life experience, and you start to understand that this band is using like all these different musical styles to convey feelings and emotions through the subject matter of the songs. And it just creates like this fourth dimensional sort of like experience in songwriting and performing and listening to songs as a, you know, a fan of the band. Like I had never heard a band combined so many different styles of music successfully in such like a short amount of time like this band basically takes you on a world tour of you know culture and art and emotion and feeling with every three and a half minute song that they do it's really cool you know and it's just like a lightning in a bottle situation because you have you know, this group of individuals that really understand what they want to do musically and they all play off each other so well at the end of it, you know, the cherry on top is you just have this vocalist that can literally be a chameleon and convey an insane amount of emotion in any different style of vocal that you need them to. I think a reason why you haven't seen a lot of bands like System of a Down since System of a Down while some may have tried, I think the reason why you don't see it happen successfully is because it is so fucking hard to replicate when a band is doing something this undeniably themselves. You got to have every little piece of the puzzle together. I'm not saying that true originality doesn't come out of artists who have been easily replicated throughout the years. You know, I think... That's a ridiculous thing to say. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying one mark that I don't hear a lot of people ever talk about, but something that I always think. It's been two decades, 20 years since this album has come out. And in 20 years, there has never been one other fucking album that sounds like this. They didn't even put out another album that really sounds like this. They put out some more records, and they're not bad records. They're pretty good records, actually. But neither of them sound like this and i think that 
I'm maybe in the minority of people that is kind of happy that System of a Down stopped putting out music, not because I didn't want to hear more, but I think that it says a lot when, you know, an artist can be self-reflective enough to realize that it's time to stop this and move on to other things. I just think that, you know, it's one thing to make something that sounds like System of a Down. But when System of a Down made this album, they weren't trying to be System of a Down. I don't know what they were trying to do. And that is what is so fucking magical about this album, about this band. And I think that's why they've held such a strong legacy in, you know, people's hearts over the decades. Because nothing else sounds like this. And the songs are so goddamn good. I know people, plenty of people that do not give two shits about metal music at all especially anything from the new metal era but that love system of a down particularly this album this album transcended so many different interests in peaks and valleys of like people at the time it was just so accessible but at the same time so wildly outside of every single box it's like if you have all of these musical boxes, right, and you lay them all out like, OK, this is our punk rock box. This is our metal box. This is our rock box. This is our jazz box. This is our whatever. You put all these genres, but there's always space in between the boxes. The boxes aren't pushed up against each other perfectly, right? They never are. People don't want these boxes to touch. But in that space in between all of the boxes, there are people that exist. There are people that are sneaking around in the middle of the night, going from box to box because they have this interest in learning. Oh, what's in that box? What's in that box? And System of a Down was a band that was able to exist outside of those boxes and provide something for those people that lurk around you know, trying to find the connections between those boxes, whether they realized it or not. You know, because I think a lot of people, too, weren't looking for this band. It just came and smacked them in the fucking face. And they were like, oh, oh, I like this. I may not be a fan of new metal or metal in general, but a good song is a good song. And it's undeniable that these motherfuckers can write a good song. So you know, at the end of the day, I think that this band was very, very important in terms of showing people it's possible to combine things in a way and create new textures and sounds and landscapes within, you know, a very simplified, almost pop format, but still experiment in various extreme forms of music, you know, have crazy loud, fast drums and yelling and a good, clean singing hook. And it not sound like pop studio manufactured trash. Like it could still sound genuine. It could still appeal to a huge audience while being undeniably unique. Not many bands have been able to do it. System of a Down is one of the few. And that's what makes this album fantastic. This album is a goddamn masterpiece. As far as I'm concerned, it's definitely... An album that opened up my brain and got me thinking more about music as a whole. Thinking about how you can write songs in a different way. Um, not being afraid to cross-pollinate genres. And not being afraid to just be yourself and talk about the things that you want to talk about. Have a message within your music. This record means a lot to me. I really don't know what else to say. I think it means a lot to a lot of people. And if you're somebody that has never given this album a listen go listen to it it's way too easy to access music these days you can literally just close out of this video and open up youtube go up to the search bar type in system of a down toxicity and you can probably listen to the whole damn album on the website right now for free so if you've never heard it check it out it's definitely worth your time especially if you're somebody that is curious about song composition song structure um if you're interested in genre mashing, if you're interested in production, if you're interested in just like, you know, conveying emotion in a lot of different ways through a lot of different styles of music in a short condensed time, just if any of that stuff interests you and you don't know about this record, listen to it. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. Until next time, my friends. Until the next time. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people around you. Peace. Peace.